Many of the unhoused people who live along our levees have stayed outside in the elements through this series of storms. And today, our Becca Habegger visited an encampment along with an organization who was working to care for them. The water's right there. Amanda Rose Riano lives in a bus currently parked along part of the levee system that protects Sacramento from the American River. This is not a permanent thing anyway. It's a temporary thing. But it's not, it's definitely kind of scary. Last night, there, this morning, there was lightning. Some people living out here are intense, like Melody Friels. I heard you mention something about your, your tarp. Can you tell me about what the storm has done to your living situation? Soaked it, made it so wet and hard and cold. It's hard out here. I've never been homeless, so it's, it's been hard. She says a car crash a couple of years ago changed her life. I don't even know what stable housing is anymore. I don't, don't. it's like I've, before all of this, I was on my own. I was taking care of myself. I was paying rent. I was, had a car. I was doing all of that and then had a bad car accident and that put me out on the street. I got a bad head injury. Without a vehicle now, she says she doesn't know where her next meal is coming from, which is why she's so grateful for this community advocate named Bree, who founded an organization called the Awkward Gardeners Community Table. My goal with Awkward Gardeners Community Table is to take food surplus and avoid it from becoming food waste by diverting it to folks who are experiencing experiencing food insecurity. Bree comes to this camp every Sunday, offering food to people who live here and working to meet needs that have only grown during the storms, as Reese Tate knows. Luckily, I just got uh, to stay with someone inside indoors due to the storm, but prior to being able to be indoors, it was horrible. The tents are flying over everywhere. There's trees knocking things down. I, I was in someone's mobile home that almost went over into like the, um, it was parked on a, on a narrow, narrow street and almost tilted over the edge, like seriously, to a ditch. She says Bree's weekly visit offers a ray of hope. She's just perfect. I, I get happy every time I see her. Bree is not only handing out food, but also giving out winter supplies as donations come in, including tents, sleeping bags, tarps, and socks. It's items to keep them warm, keep them dry, keep them safe, that can withstand the wind and the temperatures and the rain coming at them all at once. And the women we met say they're thankful. So without her coming out here, I would be going hungry. As part of her work, Brie also stocks free community fridges for people in need of food. And we do have information on how you can contribute to the Awkward Gardeners community table uh, from food donations to winter supplies and all the money that they need to buy it. All you have to do is just head to abc10.com slash to the point and then look for the links mentioned article. It'll be right there.